look at this photo. We are seconds away from an eruption of emotion. Embiid is about to burst into tears, Kawhi is about to finally show some emotion, and the rest are going to scream at the top of their lungs. But for now, all we have on these faces is anticipation. To explain this and what followed, we gotta go back a minute in time. The score is at 90 apiece. The 76ers were just able to tie the game off a Kawhi Leonard missed free throw and a Lowry blunder to run a fast break for a layup. The Raptors right away call the timeout, and you can see here Nurse is drawing up a play to free up Kawhi. The Raptors come out of the timeout, advancing the ball with 4.2 seconds left on the game clock. They put Marc Gasol at the inbounding spot, as he's a great passing big and would have no problem getting the ball in as he's so tall and can see over everyone. You see Kyle Lowry near the half court line with Jimmy Butler sagging all the way back at the 3 point line to guard him. As soon as the whistle blows, Lowry sprints to the opposite corner of the floor and Siakam breaks from Embiid to set a screen on the chasing Butler. Butler goes under, but Embiid gets caught flat footed for a split second on who he should guard. This creates further separation between Pascal and Embiid, who's already gone to set another screen. Now let's rewind a bit. As Lowry makes his move now from the corner, Kawhi also makes his way to the top of the key. He doesn't go straight for it but slows down and angles himself in a way to force Simmons into the Pascal screen before darting away. He catches the ball and actually travels here, establishing his pivot foot as his right foot, but lifting it and putting it down again before dribbling the ball. 9 times out of 10 though, this isn't going to be called in this type of moment. Kawhi runs to the sideline and Joel picks him up. This prompts Ibaka to run away from his corner to clear space for Kawhi. If he didn't do this, his defender easily could have suffocated Kawhi in the corner. At this moment, Joel thinks Kawhi is going to shoot and he prematurely prepares to jump, but aborts it with a hop. As he's going down, Kawhi rises up. Joel mistiming his jump gives Kawhi enough time and space to release a high arcing shot and we all know what happens next. This is Earn Your Ranks, where we only talk about ball. Signing off.